Let me get a bark twice if you're rocking with Chainsaw Man right now. Bark twice. Let me hear that bark, bark. Or, well, no, it wouldn't go bark, bark. Let me hear a I don't know, dog. Wolf, wolf, okay? Because Chainsaw Man episode one just went down, and I got to keep it all the way thorough with you people. Hands down, bottom line, bar none, the episode delivered everything that I anticipated, everything that I expected, and then some dog i mean from top to bottom let's address something of an elephant in the room right now shall we because there was a little bit of concern about cgi throw that out of your mind throw it out the window throw it in the dumpster there's nothing to worry about i can assure you i watched the episode from top to bottom i observed every little piece of it and this was wow this is probably the best no 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 i'm sorry not probably this is hands down the best thing that i've seen animation and art and all of that you know aesthetically from studio mappa period like this tops everything i've seen from them and i'm not talking about like it's a better series because yeah it is a great series but i'm just speaking aesthetically this is studio mappa at prime i'm gonna say that this is the best that they're capable of at the moment this is basically peak art and animation for a TV anime for a banging manga because it delivered from scene to scene if you don't know about chainsaw man essentially the plot the synopsis dude is broke as hell his father left him with a major debt that he's trying to pay back to the yakuza and he's hunting down devils using this little chainsaw devil that he made a pack with one thing leads to another and yeah he basically gets disposed of so to speak and has to fight for his life after a massive change comes within thanks to that little chainsaw devil known as pochita now off rip i gotta say that the difference that i felt from reading the manga and the anime the anime felt a little bit more serious than the manga and maybe that's just me but with the manga it felt a little bit more funnier a little bit more lighthearted. this one for the most part i felt like it was kind of depressing <laughs> i'm not even gonna lie and i'm saying that in a way of like they changed the mood of what i felt personally from like the manga i felt like yo i feel bad for dude but also i was kind of laughing hysterically of a lot of moments with the anime it kind of felt like i really feel bad for this dude yo this is kind of funny this is kind of funny but damn dog he is down horrendous right now like the i think the soundtracks and the ost added to that element of like when he's in the apartment with pochita talking it just feels very sad <laughs> like i'm legitimately there looking at him like God damn, dog, is there a way to send this dude some money or some shit right now? Can I send him, I don't know, like a little PayPal or some shit? Because I'm there witnessing, like, this is somebody at rock bottom. So it definitely felt a little bit more serious in nature to a certain degree. I think also the color palette added to that element that it felt very dark. And again, I'm saying this all with praise. By no means am I saying that, hey, this is, no, 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 no. We're not doing that here of, oh, it's too different from the manga. No, it essentially has its own vibe in comparison to the manga based off this first episode in comparison to the first chapter of the manga. It just feels a little bit different. It doesn't feel like the same, not necessarily, lighthearted again i don't know what would be the word for it but it feels a little bit more that it takes itself a little more serious now art and animation like i said amazing cg amazing um denji himself off rip if you don't like this character you're not human <laughs> you don't got emotions and stuff like that because he's basically every average dude that wants something out of life's dreams manifested into somebody that's really down bad because he has nothing he could barely you know get by he's eating a slice of bread for dinner can't even have jam with it can't afford jam with it can't afford to pay the bills and then on top of that he has these yakuza dudes that are duping him and basically playing him for a fool playing him like a fiddle so to speak and Honestly, it was just sad. Like, even the scene where he's chopping down the, you know, zombie devils, like, it was kind of epic in a way. It didn't give that same type of vibe that you get from an average anime episode where the first episode, you know, you get that high peak moment. Oh, my God. Like, I had it for a moment. And then it was just kind of like, this is sad. He's, like, going into madness so to speak especially after what happens with i mean you've seen the reaction dog with pochita after the whole you know him and pochita being chopped up and then him realizing that pochita took what he had told pochita to do of yo if i die fighting a devil take my body and live out my dreams and him making the pact with him and whatnot and realizing oh so pochita is within me now that was just like yeah it made him go honestly berserk so to speak it made him go bonkers so when he's fighting and slashing all the zombies down all freaking night 
he's kind of like in a manic state it felt like and then at the very end we get the first appearance of makima and her voice i watched it in japanese it was Mwah. Whoever's her seiyu fits it very perfectly. Denji's voice fits him very perfectly. There was a couple of things that clear setups for down the road. Like the episode starts off with a door and Denji going to open the door. And then he kind of wakes up from seemingly having a dream. Kind of makes you wonder what would have happened if he would open that door though. What's behind that door? The, is it a metaphoric door? Like what are we doing here fam? Also the whole idea behind Denji. The fact that his father you know basically deleted himself so to speak um very sad honestly it just felt like there was less comedy than i expected there was still comedy there because his dreams you know like i just want a woman you know what i'm saying i just want to hug her while i'm playing video games but that's a lot of average dudes that that's all they want like yo i just want a really cute girl that i can play video games with fall asleep with and live life eating a normal breakfast and stuff like that basically the average dream all embodied in there and this is why denji is going to be one of those characters there's clear calling it awards out the wazoo favorite character and all that stuff because he's like anybody else but in really really messed up circumstances and then of course you add all these extra elements of now he's this chainsaw man dude with this pochita devil pochita's voice was so cute too it kind of reminded me of like tony tony chopper from one piece it wasn't but it was kind of similar and honestly this was 11 out of 10, 20 out of 10, 100 trillion out of 10. This was a perfect first episode. Amazing first episode. Honestly, best first episode I think of anything I've seen this year, last few years. Probably the best thing that MAPPA has produced thus far. And if this is par for the course of what we're in store for, for the remainder of Chainsaw Man anime, episodes 2 and on, we're in for what people refer to as peak. Like, no, 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 no. That's not peak over there. This is peak over here. Chainsaw Man right now. Everything that it did with this first episode. This is something that is going to be one of the biggest things in the world. It's already huge. It's already a freaking huge success with this first episode alone. But yeah, once people actually watch this, everybody's going to fall in love with it. Because it was, it was marvelous. It was 20 billion out of 10. Peak. Perfection. Denji. Incredible character. Makima. Very interesting. Introduced at the end. of uh, The opening. Amazing opening to it. Nothing but praise, man. I can't say anything at all negative. I can't come with a criticism other than in comparison to the manga, it feels a little more serious. That's it. Everything else is just like wham. And even then, it's like, okay, it's going to have a little bit of a different vibe. It's going to make you get a little bit more emotional, even though the manga got me emotional too. But yeah very extremely extraordinarily curious what you guys think how did you feel about this first episode of chainsaw man how did you feel about denji as a character if you're a manga reader how did you feel about it in comparison to the manga and your overall thoughts and expectations for the future of the chainsaw man anime this right here it's gonna be i mean it is uh, what, what am i even talking about anymore have an awesome day lads subscribe and hit that bell